Good morning, my great champions. You are all welcome to Home Economics Online class. My name is Ms. Sade Koya. Today's topic is household pests. Now, what are the objectives? That is, at the end of the class, you should be able to explain what are household pests, state the types of household pests, mention their destructive habits, and how to prevent the household pests from destroying our properties. You should be able to list how to destroy household pests, and also you should be able to identify each household pest. Let's get started. Household pests are destructive and disturbing insects and rodents that are dangerous to man. As you all know that these household pests, they are commonly found in our home. They destroy most of our foodstuffs, crops, furniture, clothes, books, etc. by feeding on them. Now these are the types of household pests. White ants, bed bugs, mosquitoes, termites, weevils, cockroaches, household house flies, house flies, rats, mice, etc. Now, what are the destructive habits of these household pests? Cockroaches, as you can see the pictures on the screen. Cockroaches are Cockroaches contaminate our food and also destroy our properties like clothes, books. You know, at times, if you keep your clothes in your wardrobe, if you don't take proper good care of those clothes, you will notice that cockroaches can invade the place. Then at times where we always keep our books. Household flies are dirty and dangerous insects that perch on our food and spread diseases like cholera and, dis and dysentery when they infect our food. That is the reason why that whenever you are not ready to eat any food, always ensure you cover your food. As you can see the pictures of house flies, they are dangerous insects that perch on our food and spread diseases like cholera. After and this entry when they infect our food and this is very very dangerous to the body now the next one is rats and mice they destroy paper eat clothes wood plastics and food stores for example rice beans and other things like that as you can see the picture now the next one is weevils. Weevils attack and eat all kinds of dry foods like maize, another name for maize is corn, rice, beans, melon. Most especially if dry foods are not well dried, if you store them, weevils can invade such food and as a result of that, they will destroy the food. Now the next one is mosquitoes. Mosquitoes bite and suck our blood and also spread malaria. As you can see, that is why we should always ensure we spray insecticide at home. In our rooms, most especially when you notice we have mosquitoes because it can cause malaria fever, which is very, very dangerous too. Then the next one is bed bugs. Bite and suck our blood and also destroy our bed and bedding. This, bed, this is bed bug. Then the next one is white ants. White ants eat up our sugary foods. Sugar, sugar cane, beverages, beverages, for example, bone vita, milo, etc. This is white ants. Now, how can we prevent household pests? Prevention of household pests. All utensils should be washed. That is, whenever you finish eating your food, never drop your plate in the zinc. Always make sure you wash it immediately. Even your pots, 
you wash it immediately. The refuse should be properly disposed. The refuse you should always de dispose them properly in a dustbin and always ensure we cover it or you wrap it in a nylon. The next one is gutters and sewage system should be clean. Yes, these are the things that we need to take necessary action. All our gutters and sewage system should be clean. The sink should be kept clean by pouring boiling water in them from time to time. Children, you cannot do this. You are not the one that will be pouring boiling water in them from time to time. It's only your guidance or your parents. But you should always ensure the sink should be kept clean. The reason why they need to pour boiling water at times if there's any blockage of all the um, oily food in the pipe, you know, by the time they pour this boiling water, it will make the pipe free so that the water will be able to flow freely. But children, please don't pour hot water in them. It's only your parents and your guardian. I'm just trying to explain in order to prevent the blockage sink. That is what we can do. Or if it is more than that, we can call plumber to check it for us. But the major thing is that the sink should be kept clean. Bushes around the houses should be cut regularly to prevent all this household pests not only household pests at times if you are having if you're in your environment if you uh if the bushes around the area is too high you know all these dangerous animals like snakes scorpion they can invade the place that is why we should always ensure we cut the grasses in our environment very very short to prevent all this then the next one we should always ensure we use mosquito wire netting on our doors and windows to prevent mosquito i know most people are familiar with this we always put net at the entrance which is the door even on the window this are the ways of preventing household pests then destruction of household pests the first one is using a rat poison to kill the rats but i normally tell the children that i don't advise people using rat poison because some people are very careless by the time they put poison for rats and they will leave their food on cover and this can cause a lot of um a lot of problems to the family because if they are very careless the rat can after putting its mouth inside the poison can catch on the food and which can cause a lot of um, problem to the family so i don't really advise people to use rat poison i prefer certain rat traps did i use this rat traps or we can also use rat gum rat gum i prefer rat gum this is very very important instead of using the rat poison so these are the ways of destroying also pests using a rat poison to kill the rats setting rat traps then we can also for the mosquito insecticide we need to spray uh, in order to get rid of the mosquito we need to spray insecticide like red mobile vegan another thing that we need to take note is that whenever you want to spray insecticide please never spray insecticide near an open fire please and um, please never spray insecticide near an open fire it can lead to fire outbreak or fire accident 
so spraying insecticide near open fire is very very dangerous always ensure whenever you want to spray insecticide make sure there's no naked fire then most some people always make this mistake too like when they see cockroaches inside the kitchen and this has caused a lot of fire outbreak in some um homes like that please whenever you see cockroaches in the kitchen and you are cooking make sure you use another thing to kill it don't use insecticide which can lead to fire outbreak so then the next one as i've mentioned this before using of rat gum i prefer using of rat gum instead of using rat poison now the next one my great champions ensure you go over the video again please stay safe and stay healthy bye